Meghan Markle here. All right, today is January 9th, 2024. It is 4.13 a.m. I decided to do another video. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on this channel or on Patreon or PYTE. But let's get going. This is my back end. This channel have had a warning and I uh, appeal it. They rejected it and I'm in talk with YouTube on Twitter. So we'll see if they will remove that warning. When they gave me the warning on PYTE, I ignored it. I didn't think it was a big deal, but apparently they're making it a big deal. So now I'm taking it seriously. Okay, so let's go on YouTube. Oh, not YouTube, on Twitter. So this is the part that I'm going to share with you. I shared these already. I already recorded that. I just finished it. That's Suit, the um, Golden Globe. I just uh, recorded. So now there's some little politics thing. I want to have a record of them. So let's get started. So this is the first one here regarding Biden. Okay. Oh, there it go. Okay. So there it is here. My internet is kind of slow. So it's exactly two minutes. Okay, still stuck on this because many will edit for their purposes. These few minutes of protest and the crowd's response. So here's the full protest within Mother Emmanuel's hollow grounds. Include crowd support. One black woman elders acknowledgement to Biden that he's a good man. Okay, two minutes. And I believe I responded to that. Let's see here. Light. Without light, there's no path from this darkness. That's all right. 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 <laughs> whoever was sitting there they removed themselves from that I'm like I'm not part of this or maybe they are I don't know but let's continue that was from C-SPAN okay so YouTube I'm just letting you know I'm just commenting on it Okay, there's gonna be something happen later. The people in the church gonna say something. Okay, I need to stop and say something so YouTube don't think I'm just putting this here. I'm commenting on it. There it is. Black people are not stupid. We know what at stake. When we are in our own demise, nobody come to help us. Nobody come to help us. Right now, the U.S. is in deep shit. Okay? Even though we have Biden here, but the people other states have elected prevent him from doing his job, we understand that. But if we let them get the White House, we are doomed. Okay? Look at some of the things that I share with you. I don't think they are that bad. People are reporting on it. I'm sharing my opinion on them. But YouTube, thank God otherwise. But let's continue. There it is. Uh, you know what this tells me here? The ship is going, oh, should I say, um, the airplane is going down. We need to put our mask on first before we could help others. What is going on with the rest of the world? Why don't the rest of the world step up too? 
Why is it only the U.S.? The U.S. is being attacked all angle right now. Within, this is even worse, within and outside forces as well. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Look, folks. I understand their... I understand their passion. And I've been quietly working... I've been quietly working with the Israeli government to get them to reduce and significantly get out of Gaza. I'm using all that I can to do. There's a video. I cannot share it. Okay? I can only describe it. Okay? So there were a group of people who Israel uh, troops or whatever evacuating or they telling them to get out. Some have white flag, their hands up and everything. Okay, they shot one of the women and I believe the child was over the mother's body and all of that. I cannot share that. Why did they do that? So there's a lot that's going on. I'm the one who decided not to share. Look at this minor thing that was not even going to be made public on YouTube. They gave me a warning. But I understand the passion. Look, folks, after the civil... Thank you. They don't realize that. You're a good man. Well, thank you. Okay. So one of the church girls say he's a good man. They don't realize that. Okay, here. Quote, you're a good person. You are an understanding person. You are a good man. They don't realize that. Okay, the uh, Joe Biden 2024 campaign folks should find this black woman and ask her if she's willing to give an interview with her thoughts on President Biden's morality. Free advice. Okay, so there's me here. Americans need to put their mask on first before we can help others. Our democracy is sinking. Israel knows that. No matter what government the U.S. has, Israel knows it will be okay. When it comes to black people's struggles, no one cares. My question is, where is the rest of the world to deal with Israel? Okay, and I believe South Africa had put a claim to the uh, international court or something like that. Um, I haven't followed it that much, but I know there's something that's going on. Okay, there's a time and a place for protesting, and that wasn't either. Thank you for posting this. The lady's words at the end made me cry. The disrespect they displayed. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. All right, I'm telling you, they try to sway African Americans' uh, mind, but we see what's going on. Let's go to the next one. Whew. Okay, so there's this here. Oh my God, when I read this, I was like, what the hell? Okay, why do conservatives do stupid, repetitive shit like this? Are they supporters that ignorant? It's almost like uh, <laughs> when I talk about the UK, when election time comes, they bring the race card and all sorts, immigrants is coming to get their thing. This is a version of it here in the US, but this one is somewhere down south, I think. All right, breaking Alabama. There it is, down south. Alabama Senator Katie Britt has introduced a bill to prevent illegal immigrants from voting in federal election. Do you support this? The thing is, in the U.S., there are steps, okay? Even if you're born uh, in a different country, you migrate to the U.S., there are steps, not only for you to stay in the country, for you to work, and for you to even go and um, go to vote. There are steps. It's already in the book. No illegal immigrants can vote anywhere. Okay? No immigrants can vote. Okay? First, they have to get a... a what do you call this? Uh, either passport to come in the U.S. Uh, not passport. They first have to be... Uh, get visa to come to the u.s and get the green card okay first you have to have your green card first okay stay in the country for a certain amount of time and be good citizen pay your taxes okay and then within that time frame you still file for papers to obtain your citizenship and then there's an interview that goes into it if you they will ask you some civic questions okay about the government and all of that uh, funny enough most immigrants know about civic question than uh, most americans 
because it seems like they don't teach those things in, uh, in school anymore. But to get your, uh, your citizenship papers, you have to know civic questions. And you have to be able to answer it when you go to your interview to get your uh, citizenship. So there are steps. It's already in the book. All right. You have your name have to be on the list that you could vote when you get your driver's license. They ask you uh, to, you know, um, was it to vote and stuff like that? Not to vote, but to fill out the paper to vote, register to vote. All right. So this is already in the book. It's just a waste of time. Okay, or maybe just pretending that she's doing something. This is unbelievable. All right, this is what pretend to be busy. <laughs> There's my comment here. This is what pretend to be busy and what planet do these people live? Third graders should already know that they can't vote. I didn't have enough room to explain my thought more, meaning like uh, uh, immigrants cannot vote. All right, this is why they're dumbing the schooling system by saying or introducing these bills, they make it seem like they are doing something. In fact, it's already the law in the US. Okay, there's the smack in the face. America, you F. I just hope the other people know. I don't know. Does she even know? Does she even know that? Because there are things elected officials are doing, I don't even think they know uh, the law. All right, so there's another video here I'm going to comment on. Who is this man? Everything he's saying is true. That's why it irks me to no end that the GOP and conservative are defiled Christ into a hateful figure versus the actual liberal. Peaceful immigrants welcoming figures he was and taught his followers to be. All right, so let's listen to this. It's a minute and 29 seconds. Uh, I would love to leave behind right-wing fundamentalists and Christian nationalists who use Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, as a prop while legislating and fighting against his actual teachings. There's a lot of right-wing brothers and sisters in this country who identify as Christian and mm -hmm. they care about the manger and the crucifix and they ignore the 30 years of teaching. 33. Well, actually three years of teaching he did in between. Uh, Jesus is um, not an ally of the Republican Party. There is mm. no overlap between Jesus and the policies of Donald Trump itself. Like I said, they just hijack it and make it their own and then it's evil, evil hijack it because this is the good thing that Jesus is. So they hijack the name and then spew their BS. And then it's very sad. The weak mind easily take it, easily buy it and they act on it. Oh Lord. Mm. Let's listen. South Carolina, they tried to have a bill this year calling for the death penalty for abortion. We're so pro-life, we'll kill you. That's, <laughs> That's the right thing here. Yes. I would kill for a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Sing the Pope this week. <laughs> that was a stupid thing to say right there. But let's move back again. Uh, the part about the abo uh, uh, abortion. You saw, you saw for poor life, but yet we'll kill you. That's the thing here. People don't. Sometimes you just need to stop and think of what these people are saying to you and see how it makes sense in reality. This is pretty much it. All right. Right now, Stephen Wright, I would kill for a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, let me move it back for a This year, calling for the death penalty for abortion. We're so pro-life, we'll kill you. That's where we're at right now. Right now. Stephen Wright, I would kill for a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Uh, Enraged these right-wing Christians so much because he acted like Jesus in blessing gay unions. Yeah. Jesus is not anti-immigrant. He commands people to welcome a stranger. He never mentions abortion. The Bible never condemns abortion. We've had two generations of Christians in this country who have been groomed to believe criminalizing abortion is something to do with what Jesus talked about. Christ was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary, never mentioned gay people. He commanded you to pay your taxes, to welcome a stranger. Individuals and nations must care for the poor and sick in Matthew 25. He who lives by the sword must die by the sword, Luke 22. There's a reason why these right-wingers never try to put the Sermon on the Mount on walls and classrooms. <laughs> okay, let me read some of the comment here. John Ferguson, his parents was a Franciscan friar and nun, the Stephanie Miller show. Sometimes I can't see the text on Twitter. John Fergalan, I think he may still have a Twitter account. I refuse to call it X. <laughs> okay, I think it's John Fergalan. Truer words were never spoken. John Fergalan, ditto. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. And this one is about President Obama. I shared that on my community board. He received, uh, I believe, an Emmy. Maybe that's why I was calling... 
uh, I was calling the Golden Globe uh, Emmy, but it was um, it because I saw this and then all of a sudden I start calling the Golden Globe Emmy. Okay, congratulations to President Barack Obama for winning an Emmy for Outstanding Narrator for working what we do all day. All right, so there's that here. All right, so I, I was watching uh, his YouTube channel the other day and I think I share one of the videos that uh, Michelle Obama, a speech that she did thanking the people who helped her while she was in, uh, President Obama was in office and all that. I share that. There's that here. There's the clap and the flower. But Trump is raging and tweeting on the toilet about this. But these people, they focus on negative things. People don't like to, I mean, I know they have their followers, but they want to be, uh, celebrated for their negativity but majority of people are not for that okay affirmative action award what affirmative action he did his thing did he win the award for secretly ruin sorry running this country th uh, the last th three years what okay th this is idiot talking here let's black so I don't come to with this here that one as well black my goodness he, he put in the work all right and then he did his thing i don't know these people are crazy next tweet okay so there's this here another video that i came across and i thought my what's going on my internet i think is kind of slow uh oh it's not working let me pause for a second okay i had to pause for a while something was going on it was taking forever okay so this is the next tweet a uh, World War II veteran gives his honest opinion. It's only 15 seconds. We are grateful to you. Thank those, you. Those hate me, and those are the heroes. I'm the hero. I was lucky. I'm here. All the heroes are dead. And I'll never forget them as long as I live. Okay. We are grateful. So there's a music in the background. There's other tweet below it. I don't want to go into that, but this one got me. Okay, he's like, I'm no hero the hero are dead he's just lucky all right so that's that let me go to the next tweet all right so this i saw sussex do you think uh, camilla knew harry and megan's wedding picture was behind her okay so let's see here okay a picture is worth a thousand words there's that here there's the uh, image of uh, harry and megan's wedding picture and that's her thing here okay you see my comment here yes i think she knew she probably wants the Sussex squad to like her or something. As for me, no way in hell I will have anything positive view of her. All right? So she probably trying to get likes or something like that. Why didn't she put uh, the other one, the working royals? This is just BS. Okay, yes, meaning that she know. And someone responded, nope, I don't think she knew. Someone in her household who likes Harry and Meghan put it behind her as a prank. Remember her relationship with the people who crucified Megan and the toxic British press, she did not know. Cause she did, how else will she manage to gamer so much attention otherwise? Look her the pic gain so much attention uh, due to that photo behind in the background. If there's one thing we know for certain about that family is that our cold blooded and calculated, they don't do anything by chance, she knew. This lot don't do anything without a reason. Yeah, they want to be talked about. They want to be in every, uh, how do you call this? Conversation. All right, next one. Okay, assume she stuck up for Prince Andrew staying a royal lodge because she's holding out for lodgings in Windsor's castle. All right, so what is this here? Okay, okay, so there's uh, the thing regarding um, Kate and Andrew or whatever. I don't know, allegedly. Okay, hold it, hold it. How far does this rabbit hole go? Kate Middleton's nickname was the mattress for a reason. Okay, so let's see here. Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, slept with Prince Andrew one time according to former friend. Mm, I don't know. So there's me here. I said this not too long ago. The firm need to associate someone else with Prince Andrew. Now that Harry is not there, the next best ca uh, candidate is Dormat. Okay, so who knows? I don't know. Look at the third child. I don't know. I don't know. Let me just shut my mouth and move on. <laughs> next one you make whatever you want with it i believe it's on my community board you could read some of the comments there okay next week 
Uh, when he was an oil executive, Justin Welby only heard of rumors of corruption in the industry. When he became a priest, what? From that to a priest? Justin Welby forgot to alert the police about children being sexually abused in the Church of England. Sam Welby wants to forgive Prince Andrew. Oh, is that the guy that I had in the video? He was a oil executive? Was he? I didn't know that. The Archbishop and the Oil Sharks, a sleek young Justin Welby, the shady Monsieur Africa and £6 billion mission to snap Nigeria's oil riches with catastrophic result. What? I didn't know he was uh, that prior. So that was 2013. Oh my God, the squad uh, dig up things. While I'm editing, I decided to look up what did Justin Welby do in the oil industry? And this came up. Business career, Welby worked for 11 years in the oil industry, five of them for the French oil company Elf Aquitaine based in Paris. In 1984, he became treasurer of the oil exploration group Enterprise Oil PLC in London, where he was mainly concerned with West African and North Sea oil project. what in the name i learned something new every day so there's another thing here i'm not gonna read the article but i'll leave it in the description for you guys um a small section of it just look at the screen i have a screenshot of that and i didn't have an answer that's what got me into thinking more seriously about ethics in 1987 he resigned from the oil industry and decided to become a priest since ordination welby has returned to nigeria many times working on justice and reconciliation what the hell this sounds so shady to me so i'm clicking on the article here let me see what i could find here let me pause for a second this is very interesting all right, so let me read portion of that article, but the link will be in the description. Bishop Welby of Durham, former oil executive, labor scandal inquiry member, and possible next Archbishop of Canterbury discusses corporate sin and the common good. Oh my goodness. Things that I find on Twitter uh, responses. Okay, Paddy Power has him as 6-1 to the next Archbishop of Canterbury, but Justin Welby, the Bishop of Durham, is having none of it. He really doesn't want the job. Let's be clear. I'm one of the thicker bishops in the Church of England, he tells me. I'm not taken in by this disarming self-deprecation, something for which all Ethiopians like him are not especially noted. No, there is nothing remotely thick about Bishop Welby, which is one of the reasons why he has just been asked to be a member of the new Parliamentary Commission on Banking Standard looking into the labor fixing scandal. That and his background in the city for despite a faintly Mr. Bean like appearance, the fourth most senior cleric in the Church of England is no otherworldly bumbler until his ordination in 1992 he was a senior executive in the oil industry for 11 years okay i'm skipping some things here i drifted into no actually it's the next paragraph i drifted into it because i can't get a job when i left university and i ended up working for elf and friends which i read on that thing here the international finance team okay okay something is highlighted here I skipped some paragraph. Uh, no, he said that uh, is a decent human being and I didn't have an answer. 
that's what uh, that's what got me into thinking more seriously about ethic and 1987 he resigned from the oil industry okay so what did he do during the period he had lunch with friends and english evangelical clergyman paul perkin who in the course of discussion challenged him as to what an ethical oil company executive might look like i gave the normal banal answer someone who doesn't fiddle their expenses and sleep with their secretary oh shit <laughs> oh my god all right so there's more here i'll leave the link in the description for you guys you could check it out i didn't know he was all of that you know some people you think um since they were young they wanted to be a priest and all of that but no he had a whole career not that there's anything wrong with it but i was surprised that's all i'm just surprised i don't i didn't read the entire article so um to see if there's anything in between that might read raise a red flag to me but i didn't read it you guys could check it out all right so that's it archbishop justin Webby said he only heard rumors of corruption at elf he worked there for five years alongside andre Taralo, who was later in jail part of six billion pound carrot deal to defer nigeria from nationalizing oil industry which never went ahead what mm. okay archbishop of canterbury accused of hypocrisy by sexual abuse survivors comments follow justin will be criticizing of the bbc over its handling of jimmy seville's abuse cases when was that 2017 oh my lord i didn't know all about this Okay, so there's another one here. Why did Justin Webby fail to alert police over a pedophile at the cathedral? Archbishop of Canterbury must face disciplinary action over sexual abuse scandal, say lawyers. That was back 2021. Wow. Thank God. Megan bought, uh, invite, uh, what's the other, uh, bishop who came, who did the sermon? Bishop Michael Curry. Oh my God. Thank God for that. Oh my lord. So there's this here. Make a me Oh, I did put this on one of my videos. I think it was on one of the short videos. <laughs> Make amends. Bridge should forgive Prince Andrew for his sex abuse scandal, says Archbishop of Canterbury. Okay, 31 May 2022. Okay, shame Prince Andrew should be forgiven by the British people over his sex abuse scandal and multi-million pound payout the Archbishop of Canterbury has claimed. What is it during that time? I remember very well. First, they had, um, I believe the, the Queen came first, where Andrew was walking uh, the, the Queen down the aisle. People were upset. Then they sent him to talk about Andrew. People still um, was yelling like, what the hell? okay so I, I don't know what to say about these kind of things what about the children what about the children so there's me here these people are full-blown evil they hijacked the church to fool people just like that previous video that i was showing you from i believe is it uh, cnn or msnbc where the guy was talking about about the right wing who hijacked uh, about the the church god and all of that okay they hijack the church to fool people then they do the evilness within the church in the name of god this is a blueprint of the uk system they jump the gun to fool people baggage for god the true god only true god can deal with these satans keep kids away from them okay so that's me saying jesus take the will okay justin will be is complicit in the church disgusting practices as uh as was was it Charles Co Corrupt King? Many children were harmed by people like uh, Rev Rev B Ball. Is it Ball? Yeah. The church authorities knew what was going on and has always turned a blind eye. Me think he is not a man who is a peace with himself, but a man that can live with it. So many opportunities, none taking a great shame. Okay, make me wonder what he is doing inside that church to be so forgiven. I'm wondering that too oh my lord so this is that okay i don't have any more so let's do a prayer i was looking for something on abc um prayer for let's do something for those people who who hijack the church for deceivers that's it all right for the 
receivers of the church okay pray for them because they abusing people left and right and then the people were supposed this is the thing here priest anyone who within the church of uh, of things any religion people believe them because they meant to do good but what some of these people have done is hijack it because they know people will believe them and then they put nonsense in their head. And this is exactly what's happening in the U.S. with the MAGAs. And then the U.K., I don't know what to say about that. Uh, it's full-blown whatever. All right, so let's see if there's a prayer on that. So this is what I'm aiming for. The people who hijack the church and deceive people on top of it. This is a prayer for them. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I repent for any association, agreement, or approval of all this spirit of deception, false doctrine, lust, world, worldliness, and fear that have promoted Satan's kingdom and will in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it. I think this is good. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. So right now, according to uh, YouTube on Twitter, they're still reviewing it because I told them the thing was not going to be made public, but they gave me a warning for it. I want the warning to be out. Okay? And I have a video right below it for the same purpose. Let me show you. All right, so this video, no one on YouTube will be seeing it. I even turn off the, um, what do you call this? The monetization, okay? And it's unlisted. Nobody will know about this video here. All right, there's a possibility I might even remove it and put it um, on PYTE and get the link again. Because these people on YouTube, I don't know. All right, so this is the one that they gave me the, uh, the warning for. And it was not going to be made public. All right, so I, I, this is the thing that I'm challenging, but they quickly reject the challenge, but I'm still talking to YouTube on Twitter, and they claim that uh, they're still reviewing it here. All right, so that's where my conversation with them here. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Please, uh, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. You could support me on, YouTube, on Twitter. You could support me, PayPal, Patreon, or Cash App. All right. So if there's issues with YouTube, I'll be mostly on Patreon. All right. So there's different tier where you guys could uh, uh, participate in because everybody will be seeing the exact same thing. All right. So that's it. Thank you for watching.
Vanaka. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.